Friday Night Live, sponsored by Tulsa Technology Center and by Classic Chevrolet. Hello, my friends, and welcome to week two. All the playoff scores on the lower third of your screen for you here in Wagner. Glenpool and Wagner in a 4A clash, and to be quite honest with you, we thought it would be a closer game. Now, when Wagner finished the regular season at 10-0, we thought, hey, Wagner's got a pretty good team. After winning their first week of the playoffs, we said, hey, they've got a really good team. After the blowout in the second round tonight, I can tell you Wagner is a very, very, very good team. Here are the highlights. <laughs> Before an overflow crowd, it was all Wagner in the first half. Kerwin Thomas makes the first reception down to the two on the first possession. That was followed by a Prince McJunkins touchdown, 6 0. Next Wagner possession. Jimmy Carter with the reception this time for 26 yards. And then Jordan Robinson makes the catch in the end zone, and it's 13 0 Bulldog. Second quarter, McJunkins with a pitch to Kevin Peterson. He goes into the end zone untouched, 19-0. And following an interception, Wagner had time for one more score. From the three, McJunkins lunges across the goal line, 27-0 Wagner at the intermission. It didn't take long for Wagner to score in the third. Glenn pulls three and out, followed by the punt. Jordan Robinson with a great return. Three plays later, halfback option Carter to the end zone to Robinson. The only problem Wagner having in this game, point after touchdowns, but they were not needed. 33-0 in the third quarter. Didn't expect it to happen that way. We, we knew they would come here to fight. And even in the second half when they're down, their kids kept fighting. We just, we have a special group. And, and we knew what we were capable of going in. And uh, had a little shaky start there at times, but we executed the things that we worked on all week. And it started with the trigger man. Prince made the plays that we needed to him, put the ball where we needed him to. And it was a great night for him. All right, and as you can see, the final 46 nothing, and I have a feeling the folks here in Wagner are going to keep the scoreboard lit all weekend long as they head into the semifinals. We'll have more from Wagner in just